Every kid wishes it would happen at their school. The computers go down right before a big test. Well, it really happened at one Metro high school, but it was no accident and the principal blames a student. News 13's Brittany Bate has the story. I just don't see a reason why they did that. This testing season, it is the school searching for answers. It's definitely a bit more stressful because we don't really know what's going on. Last week, Volcano Vista High School was knocked off the grid. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is pretty bad. I mean, it's still up, but it's not working. Yet. And according to this email sent by Volcano Vista, two parents, a student or group of students is responsible. I think it was to get out of the last couple weeks of school. They must have been really smart because it's taking forever to fix it. Now, the district is not confirming that it was a student who did this, only saying that they are investigating and that they're taking a closer look at their cybersecurity systems to keep this from happening again. Students don't know who is to blame, but they say their principal is taking this seriously. She was like on the announcements. She just told us she like threatened the person who was hacking. It. The district would not go into how the hacker pulled this off, but students we spoke with do not approve of their classmates behavior. I think it's kind of childish for them to do that because like you're not going to get out of testing if you're just going to hack the Wi-Fi and stuff. Brittany Bay to KRQE News 13. And APS says the internet has mostly been restored at the school. In that letter to parents, Volcano Vista says there will be strong consequences for the students involved.